so now you know that I'm the, I'm the one who put all the gray hair on, <laughs> on my dad. But uh, I think it helps give him some, you know, dignity as he's speaking. <laughs> so there was a purpose. But um, I wrote this song because, um, as, as you heard, there was about four years of my life where um, we just, we butted heads every day. And uh, neither of us ever wanted to, to be around the other one. And um, I just... What I finally realized was that um, I just, what I didn't like about my dad was I didn't like that he was a Christian. And uh, he, he was a neat guy and people liked him. And I really liked him, but this whole Christianity thing really cramped my style. And uh, I just didn't want anything to do with it. And so when it finally came to a head, is, is like he said when I came to him and said, said just that very thing that I know you're a pastor, this is probably not going to go over too well with the congregation. But uh, I don't want anything to do with Christianity. And um, the res response to that was, um, I think, what God used to, uh, to absolutely do a 180 in my life. And, and what I realized, um, like you said, he went his way. And I went mine to try and figure out what I was going to do. And what I saw was just incredible brokenness. It wasn't anger. It wasn't, there was never, oh, what are people going to think or oh, what could this mean to my job? It was just incredible brokenness. And as I was thinking about why that was, um, what, I, what I realized was that um, my dad wasn't um, trying to teach me um, anything other than, it wasn't trying to teach me to believe something. It wasn't trying to, to make me into this thing. He wanted to share with me the thing that was the most precious thing that he had ever been given. And that was this relationship with the Heavenly Father. And that was the thing in his life that gave him breath, that gave him life, that gave him a reason to live, that gave him a reason to parent, that gave him a reason to put up with me. And what I just, it was like, oh my gosh, um, maybe there is something there, because I don't know how he's done it. And so I began to just pray, Lord, if this is real, then show me. So um, you've heard a lot that uh, that you need to model, and that uh, that faith is something that's caught, not taught, and uh, that's what this song is about. This here's a story of my testimony, a song to say thanks to my mom and dad. When I was a young boy, they gave to me the most precious gift a young boy like me could ever have. It was not the words they said, but how they lived. Because of the love you poured out on me, you gave up your life to take care of my every need. Every night I saw you on your knees Praying for me That I might believe Because of your love Because of your love Yeah Because of your love Because of your love Yeah I never had the most toys or the biggest yard The one thing much bigger that you gave to me Was your love and your time And you lived your belief it was not the words you said But how you lived Because of the love you poured out on me You gave up your life
At the end of the day, as much as I was frustrated at everything, I, I loved him to death. I would never want him to know that, I would never want to tell him that, I would never want to show him that, but um, even then, as a, you know, a really angry and frustrated 17-year-old, I still loved my family to death. And the Lord gave me a promise um, out of in Isaiah, and it says, And all your children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. And I held on to that promise. I don't even really think it came down to parenting strategies as far as how to do this or that. I think it came down to a lot more of just being, being a man that loved the Lord and wanted his son to have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of you.